While we have you, honey, I just wanted to ask you about Love Island. Do you know, of course, that uh, sadly, one of the previous contestants, uh, it would appear, has taken his own life. Many of the other contestants have subsequently come out and said there isn't enough of a support network there for young people who are thrown into the spotlight, the media spotlight, um, and they have no idea how to deal with it. There should be a better support network there from the production team. What do you think? Um, well, I think the first thing to say is it's a very, very sad and tragic event and my thoughts and condolences go to the family and friends. Um, but I think one of the things that concerns me, actually, is that this is becoming a story about Love Island, about reality TV, and the wider issue, I think, is being missed here, that actually we have a national mental health crisis, in my opinion, and we know, for example, that suicide is the leading cause of death for young men in particular, but men under the age of 45. We know that, for example, charities like the Samaritans say that they are taking a call every few seconds and they are trained in suicide prevention. So one of the things that concerns me about this, this particular event is that this is a very tragic event, but we shouldn't really focus too much on the reality TV aspect that he was a, a part of that show two years ago. It has been reported that he was suffering, I think, from grief because he'd lost a, a, a very close family member only a couple of days before. And we need to be educating people about what they can do if they struggling with something like grief or their mental health, who do they turn to for support? Now, I have worked in reality TV for many, many years now. I did actually work on one of the very early seasons of uh, Love Island, among other shows. And what I do know is that actually the psychological support is there. And actually, even long after someone's come off a show, they can contact production and can access uh, aftercare psychological support. Um, the problem here is that when somebody is seriously mentally mentally unwell and when they are contemplating suicide they often don't reach out for help so it's difficult I think and I think we have to be very careful that the reality TV link whilst that is getting everybody talking about mental health and it's talking about this we don't want to use that as a red herring and actually draw causal links where perhaps they aren't there we need to be thinking about the mental health difficulties of young men young people uh, in general and really talking about what provisions there are for people to call for help when they need it Okay, thank you. Thank you very much indeed, honey.